So let's get right into it. I've achieved 55.6 degrees climbing angle by making just a few little changes. Uh, obviously, I've removed the wheel. Uh, after seeing Donald's Donald's Neps video, sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong. Um, he he moved the battery and he also made a few modifications to the shell. My professor said to me, keep it simple, stupid. So um, that's what I tried to do. So uh, Donald's come up with a, a rather elaborate way of attaching um, the cab, um, which is cool. And it really does work. And I've kind of stole the idea for putting these notches. Um, I hope you can see that. So these notches in the in the front of the shell. But what I noticed was that if you left them tight, so all you have to do is give it a little squeeze and it pops down and it's absolutely solid. And I've taken all of the screws out of the cab Let's just turn this around, hopefully, yeah. And I, I've, I drilled two tiny little holes, just big enough for zip ties, in uh, the back of the cab and used this bar on the cage to zip tie the shell to the back of the truck. And as you can see, really solid. So... That and removing the wheel was the first one. Also, just so that I'm getting a little bit of uh, better range, um, I freed up the antenna. I haven't had any problems with this model, by the way, uh, with regards to that. But um, So the battery actually just sits right there on the front of the chassis in front of the servo. And it sits there really nicely. I haven't had it fall out. And um, it, it just pops in, boom, and there we go. So I just wanted to, uh, to share that with you guys. This Absema uh, truck, I'm actually going to send out a new one. Um, to whoever wins there is going to be a raffle where you can win a brand new anywhere in the world a brand new Absema CR18P Trail Hunter it's going to be a pound just one pound to enter uh, to win one of these fantastic trucks um, I'm actually going to keep this one and continue to do little bits with it because I do feel for the money um, it is really a superb platform. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Texoma RC, uh, Josh, his videos where he takes the uh, CR18P chassis and transforms it into what he calls the Slayer. Um, you should definitely check it out. I'll leave a link below. So we are probably going to slay our C18P. And, uh, and we'll see where we go. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, very, very simple modification. Uh, I guess the, the next thing that we're going to be doing to this is adding some weight in the wheels and maybe changing the tyres. But uh, to be honest, the tyres out of the box, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I'm signing off there. Remember, guys, love is the answer, no matter the question. I'll see you all in the next one.